All Tiger Cat machines are equipped with the logon system. Logon provides the operator with on site access to information similar to that which can be accessed via remote log. Tiger Cat's telematic system, such as detailed machine operating and production data and fault codes. In addition, operators and service manuals, machine diagnostic procedures, troubleshooting documents, and satellite messaging are easily accessed using a mobile device and the secured Wi Fi hotspot located on your Tiger Cat machine. Logon features very powerful diagnostic tools that allow the operator to search for fault codes, view and download ECU data, read and graph engine parameters, and perform diagnostic tests on the engine and after treatment system. This video will walk through one example of how Logon can be used to determine what a displayed fault code is, troubleshoot its cause, and recommend a solution for the problem. The entire procedure that you are about to see can be performed by following the steps within the Logon troubleshooting procedure. Logon puts the power in your hands to diagnose and correct fault codes and to make dealer service calls more efficient and effective. To connect to Logon, open your mobile device's internet settings. Select the machine's Logon SSID. For example, Log on and a 7 or 8 digit number where the number after the dash is the machine serial number. Open a browser on your device and navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.2.1 forward slash. Or you can connect through the TigerCat app, which is available on Google Play and the App Store. Open the app, select Log on and follow the instructions to connect and open Logon. There are two default user levels in Logon, and each has different permission levels. To perform the diagnostic testing, you will need to log in using the username owner and the password owner7q. The password is listed in the Logon's owner manual and on the tag in the cap. Passwords may be changed in the owner account. This video shows the owner rights that are available in Logon Firmware 3.3 and up. To check the firmware version of the Logon system from the home page, tap the hamburger menu and select Setting. Then System. Select Firmware Update to view the current firmware version. If your current firmware is at a version 3.1 or newer, you can update using the TigerCat app. If your current firmware version is 3.0 or lower, Follow the update procedure at the following address, https colon forward slash forward slash www.tigercat.com forward slash telematics dash firmware dash update. When a machine's computer control system detects a fault, the operator is alerted by an alarm, a flashing light, and an alert message on the computer control system display. There could be a message describing the fault and SPN code, suspect parameter number may be present. For this video, we will use the code SPN19338. From the home page, select the Diagnostics tab at the bottom. Select All to view all the SPN codes. If the code is underlined, selecting it will open a troubleshooting guide. The troubleshooting guide lists a detailed description of the code the cause of the code, and possible failures that could have triggered the code. The troubleshooting guide may be downloaded to your phone or mobile device. When viewing the troubleshooting document on Logon, you can consult Remote Log for the latest version of the document. SPN19338 means that the Engine Control Unit, or ECU, has determined that a low-pressure condition exists in the DEF system. If the DEF system pressure does not reach 6.5 bar or 94.25 psi within 60 seconds after 10 pressure buildup cycles, this fault will occur. Step 1 Before starting the troubleshooting procedure, it is suggested that you have spare parts that are listed on hand, as well as the required tools to perform the work. Start by downloading the ECU data onto your device in case it is needed. From the Logon home screen, tap the hamburger menu and select Engine Diagnostics. Swipe down and select ECU Data. 
Tap the green arrow box to read the ECU data. You may then select Download to save a copy to your device. If the machine is under SCR inducement, clear the fault codes and perform an engine inducement unlock. Contact your TigerCat dealer to request a four-digit inducement unlock code. From the Engine Diagnostics menu, select Clear All Fault Codes. Tap the green arrow box to clear all fault codes. You may then select Download to save a copy to your device. If the fault is still active after clearing the codes, or pops up right after clearing the codes, contact your dealer. Next, select Inducement Unlock. Once you have the four-digit code, enter it into the box and tap the green Unlock box. Step 2. Next, top up the fluid in the DEF tank to ensure it is full. Step 3. Remove the DEF dosing module and inspect it for crystallization. If there is any crystallization on the nozzle, unplug it from the wire connectors and DEF lines and clean it. The dosing module soaking procedure can be found by going to the home page and tapping the manual icon at the bottom of the screen. Select the N67 Tier 4 Final Engine Troubleshooting Manual. When performing the dosing module soaking procedure, you will be required to perform UDST and UDPC tests. UDST means Urea Dosing System Test. UDPC means Urea Dosing Pump Check. Both tests can be performed using logon. They can be found in the engine diagnostic screen. The machine will need to be keyed off and keyed on between all tests. Verify full functionality and system pass. Once the module is clean, plug the DEF lines and electrical connector back into the module and place it into a measuring container. Using logon, perform three consecutive UDST tests. From the Engine Diagnostics menu, select UDST Test. Tap the green arrow box to run the test. When complete, you may view the results by tapping the yellow view box. To download the results, tap the green download box in the bottom right corner of the results screen. If the DEF supply module passes all three UDST tests, and you have confirmed that dosing module is not leaking, the fault is intermittent. If this is the case, follow the intermittent fault process in the troubleshooting guide. For this video, we will not be following the intermittent fault process in order to show the testing of all components. This video will follow the elimination process. If the DEF supply module fails one or more of the UDST tests, and you have confirmed that dosing module is not leaking, Continue the troubleshooting steps using the elimination process. Step 1. The first step in the elimination process is to check for any contamination and leaks. In all the following steps, make sure that no dirt or contamination enters any of the components. Any contamination will cause damage to the after-treatment system. The DEF tank vent line will need to be inspected for dirt and debris, and checked for kinks in the line. Check the DEF sending unit, and if there is an inline suction filter installed, check it for damage and clean or replace as necessary. Make sure that the DEF sending unit pickup strainer is clear of any dirt, debris, or DEF crystallization. Make sure that there is a gap between the DEF sending unit pickup strainer and the pickup tube. The strainer should not be pressed up against the pickup tube. Make sure that the DEF tank fill strainer is in place and free from dirt or obstructions. If the strainer is missing or damaged, the DEF tank must be cleaned to eliminate the chance of contaminating the system. Make sure to install a clean, undamaged strainer in the fill neck. Step 2. The second step is to rule out supply module damage or contamination. Start by removing the inlet port fitting from the DEF supply module and blowing air through the bottom of the fitting. If the air does not pass through, there is contamination in the fitting. You may also shine a flashlight through the bottom of the fitting. If the blue base of the strainer is not visible, the fitting is contaminated. 
In either case, the fitting must be replaced. Remove the main DEF supply module filter and replace with a new one. The rubber plug included with the new filter must be installed or the supply module will not develop any pressure. Disconnect all the DEF lines from the supply module and inspect them for leaks, damage, or kinks. Blow air through each of them to clear any debris that may be inside. If contamination is found in any of the fittings, hoses, or filter, remove and clean the DEF tank if not already done, and check the DEF supply source for contamination. Verify that the DEF is being handled and stored as described in the machine operator's manual. Step 3. When the checks have been completed, perform another three consecutive UDST tests using logon. If the DEF supply module fails one or more of the tests, continue with the next step in the troubleshooting guide. Step 4. There are two types of DEF supply modules, and they are easily identified by the white backflow fitting. Backflow fitting part number 218340 has a 3/8 inch inlet, and backflow fitting part number 223071 has a quarter inch inlet. The type of inlet fitting will determine the diameter of clear hosing you will need to test it. Step 5. Connect the appropriate size clear tubing to the inlet and backflow fittings on the supply module and the other ends to the DEF sending unit on the DEF tank. Perform three consecutive UDST tests while monitoring the fluid in the tubing. Make sure there is no air in the tubing during the tests. Save the results from each test. If the DEF supply module fails one or more tests, move on to the next step. If the module passes all three tests, then we have identified the DEF supply module as the cause for the fault. For the purpose of this video, we will show what happens when all components have been rolled out. Step 6. In this step, you will connect the appropriate size clear tubing to the inlet and backflow fittings on the supply and place the other ends into a container filled with new DEF. Place the DEF container next to the DEF tank or at a similar height and distance from the DEF supply module as the DEF tank to approximate operating conditions. Perform three consecutive UDST tests while monitoring the fluid in the tubing. Make sure that there is no air in the tubing during the tests. Save the results from each test. If the DEF supply module fails one or more tests, move on to the next step. The final step is to replace the DEF supply module. Install a new supply module and connect all of the hoses to the DEF sending unit. Run three consecutive UDST tests while watching the clear tubing to make sure there is no air present. In this case, all three tests passed with the new supply module. The operator will now operate the machine for one hour. If no fault codes return after operating the machine, clean the DEF tank and return the machine to work. If the fault code returns after operating, contact your dealer. If one of these final tests has failed, contact your dealer. If you are out of cell range, you can use the messaging feature to make initial contact with the dealer. When contacting the dealer, please have the following information ready. Machine serial number, machine hours, FPT fault codes, and stored data from logon. Copy of the test results from all UDST and UDPC performed during this troubleshooting procedure. This video has demonstrated only one example of how logon can be used to perform diagnostic tests and procedures that are available in the TigerCat logon system. For more information on logon, contact your nearest dealer or visit www.tigercat.com.